Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can play any PC games in your Android. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can play any PC game in your Android uh, with using WinLater application. In my previous video, I have already reviewed about this application WinLater. So this is the uh, emulator for Android. Uh, we've been using Exagir uh, emulator from very long time. So this is the new emulator, uh, latest in the market. And I've already made a review video. You, you can check out my channel. The video is already on it. How you can install it, and the downloading everything will be there. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can uh, play any game in your Android PC game, which is the the Windows PC game in Android. Which I've already promised in previous video, I'm going to show a game video, and there are a lot of upcoming videos on my channel that I'm going to show how you can run any PC software and how you can play any PC games. So that must be a very uh, interesting videos because uh, in that videos I'm going to show how you can play a uh, high-end games, Windows PC games in your Android phone. So first of all, so now let's get into the video. So first of all, you have to uh, download and install WinLater application. Downloading in the description. So let me just give a quick overview of this application for my new viewers for this video. So first of all, you have to download and install the WinLater application. So the download uh, uh, link uh, I'm also going to provide in this video. And the tutorial you can, if you want to know how you can uh, download and install this application, the separate video is already on my channel. You can check out my channel. So this is the application uh, from here you can uh, create a container container means you can create a direct desktop for the uh, for uh, the applications which you are going to run and this application is based on wine so the people who don't know about wine that's the uh, you can check it out on internet uh, I'm not going to explain it so it will going to take very long time so must uh, I can say the uh, this web application is based on wine the wine which we can use for to run any PC software in Android so basically the hardwares are different for the uh, Android mobile phone for and the PC so to make uh, any PC software run in Android, um, we are going to use this application. We can't uh, uh, directly use PC software. So the Android applications are end up with the .apk, but um, the PC softwares are end up .exe. So to run or open or play any PC game with end end up with the .exe, we need this application, which is emulator so first of for this video i'm going to run a pc game so for this video i've selected a fifa game so as you can see fifa 99 so this is the game i'm going to uh, play uh, in winlater application so as you can see uh, the download link of the fifa 99 uh, is in the link description you can open that link and download from there so mostly the file is in the zip file and as you can see it's 44 mb fifa 99 so you have to download this and extract it in download folder only make sure after downloading any application or game if you want to run in winlater application make sure it will be in the download folder of your android internal storage this is my android internal storage and this is the download folder and make sure make sure you keep in mind after downloading any file you have to keep files in the download folder of your android internal storage only because any other folder will not going to work in the winlater application it will going to only access the download folder of your android internal storage so if you want to uh, open any software or if you want to play any game you have to keep all the files in the download folder only or if you want to save any file from the winlater software or if you're working with any PC software and if you want to save it in your Android, so you have to, you can save it in your uh, Android uh, file. It will get in into the download folder only. From after, you can uh, access everything in this download folder only. So I'm going to show in my upcoming videos with any software. So in my previous video, I've already shown about some software which will work perfectly with my Android phone, like Microsoft Office. 
uh, from that uh, application i can make any documents and save it to my download folder so this is the main important keep part keep in your mind many of the people get confused about this they keep files in the android internal storage and search for it in the application but uh, the main point you have to keep in your mind is keeping all the files in the download folder so you can access in the application so now let's start the procedure so after downloading and keeping every file in the download folder you have to open the emulator application so this is the application you have to create the containers if you don't know about this application you can check out the previous video which i've already shown how you can download and install emulator application in your android so basically this is the emulator for android now you you have to click on the three dots and you have to click on the run after clicking run it will saying starting up so it will going to open the desktop of this application and it will go into the landscape mode so let me just turn the android phone and i will set up the camera and come back in So as you can see this is the uh, in desktop of the win later application it will seem uh, looking like the exegear but have some different features so as you can see in the exegear there is no mouse cursor to use but in this uh, application there is a mouse cursor to use with uh, two fingers you can get the more options and with single tab you can access so as you can see uh, i was already mentioned make sure to keep every file in the download folder so this application will going to access download folder as a d drive so as you can see this is the all the files which i have keep in the download folder and it has been opened here so as you can see this is the d drive of the my computer of this uh, desktop and uh, this is the download folder of my android internal storage now i can access all my android files over here with this in this application so as you can see i've already said i've downloaded the fifa game and this video is on the game also so in this video i'm just going to show how you can play pc games and here as you can see just uh, swipe from left to right and as you can see i can access the keyboard for this application and here uh, uh, input controls i can can enable the controls for the game so i can play games with this as you can see it will can also work uh, with desktop also so as you can see with this uh, controls i am going to play game uh, going to just show you in some moment so as you can see like this with i can do full screen so i will get the good experience with the full screen so let me just disable the controls until i open the game so as you can see this is the application from here you if you want to exit just click to exit or if you want to directly without uh, closing the desktop you can just close the application like this and you can again open the win letter it will going to open from the same place where you have left so if you want to run android phone with the desktop you can use this application is perfectly working and make sure it will going to use your android internal storage so make sure you have a lot of internal storage because pc softwares and games take a lot of storage uh, to work so make sure you have having good storage in your android internal storage and it will going to take your android um, phone ram basically it's uh, uh, basic of the any hardware with the related to software so make sure you have a good uh, android phone with lot of storage and ram so now uh, i've already said i have downloaded the fifa file and i've extracted in my android folder now i'm going to open fifa 99 software uh, pc game i'm going to open the folder and this is the game files folder i'm going to while double clicking on it you can open the file like this as you can see i'm just now i've opened the folder and now here after opening folder you have to search for the fifa 99.exe as i already mentioned uh, uh, any pc software or game ends with a dot exe so you have to search for that and here type you can see application now you have to uh, click with double fingers on the screen and you have to click on the open after clicking open the game will be going to open in my android phone so it will going to take some time for a few seconds so here you have to just wait for the movement and you don't need to click uh, again and again because the game can be open uh, with different uh, uh, windows so only you have to click for the ones and you have to wait so as you can see the screen goes black it means the game is opening up here 
so basically this is the pc game and very high end uh required any high end uh, software to so as you can see this is the fifa 99 it's cup up with the full screen as you can see so there are a lot of lot of uh, pc games we can play so as you can see you can see uh, press any button so let me just uh, enable so let me just to increase the volume the volume is fully supported with this uh, uh, so let me just uh, enable the controls so just now I've enabled controls now so as you can see the sound is perfectly synced and don't have any lag so let me just uh, oh. quickly open some demo match to show you as you can see it will saying uh, loading so basically this game is uh, FIFA 99 and it's perfectly working the sound is perfectly coming the sound is perfectly synced and don't to have any lag or glitch so as you can see this is the game so let me just decrease the volume so it's going to disturb the video so as you can see the graphics of this so let me just play this game so as you can see this game is very uh, free to play and we can't see any lag uh, in this game so as you can see the game is very playable and this is the all the controls uh, with I'm going to play many people will think uh, it's easy to play any FIFA game in Android uh, with the uh, Android app Android game but if you want to uh, experience the pc game uh, in your android you can use this and there are a lot of uh, games like uh, gta 5 a very high-end uh, call of duty pc uh, version there are a lot of high-end games which are not uh, uh, able to play in android but i'm going to show how you can play that in android with uh, emulators so there are a lot of tricks uh, over there so i'm in upcoming videos i try to show so as you can see this is the uh, fifa 99 uh, sorry i don't know how to play this game but still i'm going to show you uh, i think i'm not going to win this game but still i'm you showing to you so if you want to disable the controls you can disable and you can play it with keyboard so it will be very complicated with touch but you can connect any physical keyboard and you can play it but i'm going to enable the controls or if you having any uh, physical joystick you can play with that also in upcoming videos try to show how you can do that so as you can see this is the uh, fifa 99 pc game perfectly uh, playable and running in android so as you can see this is the pc game and it's perfectly uh, working there is no lag no glitch and as you can see and it's uh, playable and very high graphics with high graphics as you can see so as you can see this is the fifa 99 and if you want to just pause the game you have to click on the esc and you can pause the game and there are a lot of uh, features over here you can resume the instant replay and you can also just go screen and you can use your android phone normally and again if you want to open that game you just click on the emulator and you can resume this game from that so make sure you have having a very good high-end smartphone with lot of storage and lot of ram so it will be going to very easy for you but still if you want to play in very old device you can use so i'm using very old device it's having only a 600 of ram and something 800 snapdragon so basically this game is very perfectly working and just let me just click to resume so this is how you can play any pc game while using uh, with android phone so as you can see the graphics is very clear and there are a lot of upcoming videos on my channel that i'm going to show with the high-end pc games so some of the games name i have mentioned and there are a lot of lot of pc games with i we can play there are some games which is not available in android but we can play uh, which is available in windows so we can play in android i'm going to show so this is the uh, emulator application emulator which is perfectly working with android and this is the game which is very playable as you can see so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have a question or problem let me in the comments thank you